Hi boys and girls! Yesterday I did 10 minutes of in-depth research while I was polishing my collection of Henley Regatta 2010 souvenir coins so I could become the world's leading expert on the just-in-time supply chain. I'll tell you all about it, but before I do, please like, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications of new shows every Trudy Tuesday. Now. Just in time is a very complicated logistics and delivery management strategy. But what it really means is not getting things to places until those places have just about run out of those things. Take my fourth best friend Heather Mills' delicious V-Bites vegan sage and marjoram sausages. In an ideal world, they wouldn't be delivered to my local Tesco until the last packet was on the shelf. And of course, the system works. Well, it works until we find we're 100,000 HGV drivers short, or until we find that there's no diesel in the filling stations, or until the price of gas goes through the roof. My Trudy Light -like chat show operational strategy relies on the just-in-time methodology. I gather my thoughts moments before the broadcast, but just in time. Trouble is, this week, due to supply chain disruptions involving a lack of petrol to bring my llama home from the vet, I find myself unprepared. I tried panic buying thoughts for my show, but I got stuck in a queue full of selfish YouTubers with enough material for their shows for a couple of months and loading up with far more ideas than they needed. At least we've got a government that excels in preparedness, like with the gas. I read somewhere, probably in Heat magazine, that the French hold gas supplies equal to three months' demand, and I'm sure we must have much more than that. Um, apparently we've got 25 minutes worth. But okay, nobody could reasonably be expected to have foreseen the HGV driver shortage. Of course not. Nor the staff shortages in fruit and veg picking, hospitality. I could go on. And in fact, I will. What about the care sector? The NHS? Okay, so hundreds of thousands of people have left their jobs with no one to replace them. But where's the connection between that and staff shortages. And there are some people who actually blame the government, as though they're somehow in charge of running the country. And talking of Connor Burns, see you next Tuesday. And remember, keep it light.